100 years ago, President Woodrow Wilson signed the Defense Act of 1916, creating the Reserve Officers Training Corps, or ROTC. To commemorate this date, about 100 cadets at RIT started their morning with exercises and a run. Time Warner Cable News reporter Christina Dominguez spoke with two cadets about their experiences in the ROTC and has our story. It was an early morning for RIT's ROTC Tiger Battalion, but that is not an uncommon event. <laughs> the special cadence run around campus is to commemorate the 100 years of the Army ROTC program. For Battalion Commander Christian Alvarado, a SUNY Geneseo senior, this path to the military has been a lifelong goal. After graduation, Christian heads to Fort Benning in June and is slotted to be an infantry officer. It's been great. It's taught me how to be a leader. It's taught me how to think on my feet and just be a better person overall. Um, it's not about me. It's about the people next to me and the people I serve. It's the way you can give back and I just always thought that it was kind of my calling. Fellow Geneseo senior Lauren Warner is following a different path. She's in the National Guard. She'll later serve here in Rochester and plans to attend nursing school. I mean, we have um, younger cadets who can try it out before they contract, and if they decide it's not for them, then they can just leave. Overall, it's, it's probably the greatest experience that I've had in my college career. There are 275 ROTC programs at colleges and universities all around the country. The one hosted here at RIT takes in students from all the Rochester area schools. Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Otero says that only about 25% of his students come to him initially on scholarships. The majority sign up later. He acknowledges students have a lot of pressures, especially at these competitive schools. He says ROTC helps them navigate it all, even helping monitor grades. I do encourage folks to basically take part of the university community and take part of all the other clubs, and not just ROTC, including athletics. We do have a number of athletes in our teams as well. <laughs> and, you know, frankly, they really have a lot on their plate. But what's always really constantly impressed me is that our kids maintain it. More than 40% of the Army's current active duty general officers came through ROTC, and many in this class are looking to add to those numbers. Christina Dominguez, Time Warner Cable. News.